For range of motion for the hip and knee, we don't need any supplies, just the resident. So I'm going to knock on the door. Hi, Lee. I'm Myra. I'm here to do your range of motion. Is that okay? All right. I'm going to wash my hands. And then I'm going to pull the curtain for privacy. So we're going to exercise your hip and your knee. So I'm just going to uncover that part of your body. So as we're exercising the hip, we want to support the two joints below. So that would be the knee and the ankle. So I want to put my hands up underneath. Okay. So first we're going to do flexion and extension of the hip. And actually with this, this exercise, it flexes and extends the knee as well. Okay. So let me know if you're having any pain, Lee. It's also good to look at their face while you're doing the range of motion in case there's any grimacing or any facial expression. So we're going to bring this up just until you feel any resistance. Does that feel okay for you, Lee? Keeping those joints supported. And then you, like I said, you don't want to push past any resistance. You're just going to stop when the joint feels tight. Everything okay? All right. Then we're going to do abduction and adduction, which is like a snow angel going away from the body and back in. Still supporting the joints below. Any pain, Lee? Okay. All right. And then I would do the same thing on the other side. Since this is a restorative therapy, each resident will have their own care plan as to how many times they should do it and how many sets and what body parts you're going to work with. So I would ask if he's comfortable. I'm going to bring his bed back down. Make sure the bed is locked. Give him his call light. I'm going to open up your curtain and wash my hands. And then I would document um, the number of repetitions that I did. And then if there were any pain during the exercise, I'd inform the nurse.